Hello everyone, Justin Petrozello here. I wanted to basically elaborate on what is a rhino. Why do we focus on this and why do you see rhinos everywhere and why is it going into a whole nother level um, with it? Well, let me give you a little bit of background, okay? I have been in the real estate industry for over 20 years now and when I started in this industry, there was a mantra uh, I had to do with the rhino, it had to do with what a rhino is, what it represents and everything. And I didn't quite understand it when I first started. After as many years that I have in the industry, I understand it, okay? And our team and our branch really use this mantra to move forward. And I'm gonna go through a couple things. What a rhino is, is this. Obviously we know it's a, it's a very massive animal, a very dominant animal. Um, if you see a picture of one, you know who it is, okay? So it does represent something in the um, competitive market where we stand. And, and that part I understand, and, and, I, and I like that. The second part to it is if you look at the attributes of a rhino, uh, a rhino is very thick skinned. Now, in our industry, in the real estate industry, in the mortgage lending industry, we have a lot of challenges day by day. If you're in the industry, you understand where I'm coming from. You have ups, you have downs. You have to be thick-skinned. In our industry, you have to be thick-skinned. A rhino is thick-skinned. When it goes charging and it goes forward, doesn't matter shrubs, branches, anything that gets in its way doesn't affect it. It gets the end result. It gets to where it needs to go. So that's part of it. Another little part and an attribute with the rhino, um, obviously when it does charge forward and it does go forward, it gets the job done. It, it, no matter what, it gets to the finish line, it gets where we need to go. It's continuously moving forward. And a little side note with a rhino um, that you may not know, it's physically impossible for the rhino to move backwards. So you're continuously going forward. So you could see how this mantra um, really impacts our business. Uh, every one of our mortgage loan originators that work with us, um, you know, really believe in it. We really focus in it. Um, we're awarded them, you know, because it's something that is an accomplishment. It's not easy in our industry. Uh, our, our industry is very challenging at times. Individuals that have been here understand that. Um, but to become successful and to get to those other levels, you need to believe. You need to believe in something. You need to understand that. So I get on a daily basis, why a rhino? Why this? Why, you know, because they see it. You know, we present it. Um, we come across as that. Uh, if you go to my YouTube channel, the mortgage rhino. The reason being is it is a mantra, it's a belief, and it's something that you need to be in this day and age in the lending environment because there's constant change. There's constant involvement. You have to have that focus and that direction to go from point A to point B and get it accomplished. So I don't want to take more time, but I just wanted to let you know what it represented. Um, I get a lot of questions and I love it. Uh, I keep getting, this is the rhino, this is the rhino. I love it. So keep doing what you're doing, attack the day, but now you know what a rhino is about. And my question is, do you have what it takes to be one?